Technology is growing fast with the main developments happening in artificial intelligence. It is included in almost everything, including the most essential things. Soon, robots will start doing everything for us. And all we will be doing is lazing around. Well, apart from those who are developing the robots themselves, but all in all, artificial intelligence is set to replace us and all our jobs. But that does not stop countries like Japan from releasing new robots. Let's find out more. When it comes to robotics, Japan is the country that is leading in that field. The kind of research they have done is intensive and impressive, giving the government an edge over the entire world. We regularly hear about advancements that take Japan a step closer to becoming the base for creating robots that will all play a part in transforming society. But what robots has the country produced now? Starting us off is the monkey tail, mainly meant for the elderly. What if human beings had tails? Well, now we may have an idea with this new gadget. It comes in handy, especially for the elderly with back issues. Imagine your elderly mother is going to get something from the kitchen, and suddenly, she loses her balance. You don't have to worry about her falling down or losing balance with the monkey tail. This mechanical appendage will uncoil and stiffen from behind, giving the user a sense of balance. If your mother happens to be falling, she will immediately be steadied, and you can continue without worrying. However, this entire scenario and technology are hypothetical, but they are in development. It is not that far-fetched. At Keio University, some Japanese researchers have recently designed a robotic tail that will be mainly for older people struggling with their balance. According to the researchers, this mechanical tail, which is about one meter long and pretty thick, somehow functions like any other animal's tail. Be it a lion, a leopard, or even a monkey. Once worn using a harness, it will give the owner a counterbalance when necessary. Tails could be used for many things, to signal danger such as a deer, to move in the water like a fish, or even to warn the attacker such as a skunk. So, with this tail, most of the elderly can now stay in balance, with minimal chances of falling down and injuring themselves. Yusaku Maizawa, a Japanese fashion magnate, has decided to buy Groove X. This startup robotics company mainly makes robots that are meant to be affectionate companions. His main reason for buying the company is that, as he says, it can make people feel happy. Because of this, one of the funds owned by Maizawa decided to take a majority of the stake in the startup. The business was started by SoftBank Group Corp, alumni in the robotics business. The robots, which the companies call Lovot, have wheels and resemble a penguin with eyes like a cartoon yet human. The name Lovot is just a combination of the words love and robot. After all, it is meant to be a human robot. You can decide to have a little fun with the robot by changing its outfit to your desired color. In addition to that, the little robot will communicate in squeaks, so unless you understand squeaky, you might not understand what it means. Maizawa gave a statement where he said that even though Lovat cannot do some of the house chores for you, it still has a lot of potential to make people happy. GrooveX had already raised about $67.6 million from investors, these funds mainly came from the government, which has greatly supported the advancement of technology, and Toyota Motor Corp. However, INCJ, the state fund, had already announced that it had sold all its stakes to Maizawa for an undisclosed amount. But we all know that it made some profit from it. INCJ later said that Maizawa had already shown so much interest in developing a little robot to help people deal with social issues after the pandemic hit, the entrepreneur has gotten most of his fortune from the online fashion retailer known as Zozo. Still, it was later purchased by SoftBank's internet business. As I said earlier, even in convenience stores, AI is included in everything. One of the major convenience store operators, Family Mart Co., recently announced that they have successfully managed to introduce a robot that has artificial intelligence. The robot's main job is to restock the drinks at one of the stores in Tokyo. This new artificial intelligence robot mainly operates in the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry building in the Kazumagaseki district of Shiora Ward. All it does is restock some of the products on the shelves, 
This is made possible by predicting the sales based on the time and season. Family Mart, whose parent company is major Japanese trader Itochu Corp, mainly tries to reduce the number of store employees and boost high-quality work. This includes some of the tasks, such as serving customers. The robot itself came from Telexistence Inc., which is just an information technology startup based in Tokyo. The device itself is not that complicated as it just entails an arm, a body, rails and some other parts, which are not that complicated. This robot is situated right between the display and storage shelves, making it easier to restock drinks. It uses an image sensor fitted on its arm to determine whether the frames need to be replenished. If it's time to reload, the robot will grab the products from the storage shelves one by one until it's done. The robot has enough power to run through an entire day. One interesting fact is that all the Family Mart stores, most of the drinks are restocked in a room with a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius. This same room accounts for about 30% of the store's employees. Honda has a lot of ambitions with plans to build air taxis, rockets, and even moon robots. The company, mainly known for its cars, has decided to position itself for a vertical takeoff. Given the fact that it is relatively new to this industry, we can say that it has decided to embark on the journey of building a new electric hybrid air taxi. A robot that has some sort of human hands and someday a rocket that will be economically sufficient to take small satellites to space. Honda has this futuristic vision of how people will be working, traveling and even spending their leisure time. Because of this, the company plans to expand its business beyond cars, lawnmowers and motorcycles. Each of these efforts that Honda makes is towards achieving its 2030 vision. It is also to make the definition of mobility and improve people's daily lives. Honda also has some experience when it comes to small planes. But not when it comes to the space industry. It does not know much about it and will have a hard time competing with companies that have already established themselves such as Boeing Co., SpaceX and Blue Origin. Honda has also struggled to keep up with the current technology circulating in the automotive industry. For it to be able to develop electric vehicles that are at least worth it, the company had to partner with General Motors Co. This is mainly because Honda did not have access to the battery pack technology and they just didn't know how to use it. According to Honda, all the areas it plans to expand upon and develop are within the company's expertise. This includes propulsion, electrification, robotics, artificial intelligence and renewable energy. The spokesman for Honda, Marcus Frommer, even said during a briefing with some reporters there is no other company that has all these core technologies. Technology is seriously advancing and there is always something new. In addition, some companies have been there for years but are now trying to keep up with the trend. Some are just startups in the industry and they are doing pretty well. All in all, they all have to keep up with the trends if they want to have a chance at being among the top. So what do you think of Honda's decision? Tell us in the comments below. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe and like and also press the bell icon to never miss an update. See you next time.